Welcome to the Blue Cast, where I, your host, True Blue, aka Alex, talk with my cast of friends about whatever we want. Today, uh, it wasn't meant to be special, but I'm going to treat it as special, because you know what? We got the original boys back. We got Source, aka Caesar. We got Double Dog, aka Chase. And we got Ink Nova, aka Terrence. Terrence, I don't even think you went by Ink Nova yet. No, I did not. First, it's like, been it's been over a year podcasts. since since the four of us gathered to talk on a podcast, and I think that calls for a hip hip hooray. Yippee! Hip hip hooray! Uh, before we get on to Kirby, few things. Specific, well, not really a few things. We're just gonna skip over any important details. The Sonic movie came out, um, which is why there's a sonic thing on your screen right now um the sonic movie came out the C- sonic movie 2 that was such an amazing movie just want to say that right now i saw it with my with my boy ink nova we saw it together in the theaters great movie i don't want to spoil anything so i'm not going to go into detail about stuff but that post credit scene god damn oh my god caesar did you watch the sonic movie yeah i watched it with other people ah uh means me and other people just quick yeah, quick question almost huddled. yeah quick question like thoughts was it good yeah yeah it was worth it a little little uh funny realizing it's still a kid's movie and there was like how much uh like half the theater full of kids mm-hmm. yeah so a lot, a lot of children laughing i will say for my theater it was it, it was a lot of like teens to adults and what was really funny was that post credit scene everyone who was still in the theater would start cheering and clapping and it was like oh yeah. my god it's like those youtube videos it's, it's like the it's like the videos on youtube everyone started popping off and i saw there was like two kids in the audience and they're just sitting there like huh what who that one kid mm-hmm. was just genuinely scared and i was laughing <laughs> I think one kid was crying <laughs> <He's> scared <laughs> anyway jim carrey stole the show and who could forget about the victory chariot? I, I yes, the victory chariot. I will quote I every Knuckles line from that movie. A victory chariot awaits. Anyway, <clears throat> Kirby, you know him, you love him, you say Poyo. Me. Forgotten Land has come out and has redefined Kirby as a franchise, alongside Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, in my opinion. That's a high bar, but freaking Forgotten Land was so different from any Kirby game before that. So I'm gonna I'm putting it up there. I'm setting the bar. It has three dimensions. Is that a hot take that like Forgotten Land was like the Breath of the Wild and Odyssey? Absolutely uh, not. Yes. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't uh, seen anything about the new game yet. Oh, I'm always dude, on the it's trailer. It's nice. It's so good. I love King Dedede's design and how it's based on the Crystal nope. Shards one. That's the one yes, thing I don't is. like about the game. Really? But I don't. I don't like Dedede's new design. I think he looks dumb. I mean, okay, they're just gonna change it in the next. Okay, game but age, the, so. the 3DS designs aren't dumb. They're not. They're fine. They, they just switch the eyes. The oh, eyes. Yeah. That's the problem. They're fine. No, my problem is he. He looks like a club penguin penguin, but bootleg. That's the best part. I don't like it. I just, I don't know. I think I'm just too used to, like, the design we get in the 3D Kirby games. Like, you know, 3DS, Smash Brothers, his amiibo. It's just all, it's all this nice design. It's simple. And for, I'm sorry. I Listen. Kirby 64, I get it. It's supposed to look like it, and I say heavily in quotes, but, like, that design was the thing that inspired the modern-day DDD design. That updated to what we have today. Where do you... What is the divide? That's, like, retconning history. Like, you can't just say, oh, no, that design's different. Like, no, that inspired what we have today for DDD. This is not going back. It is straight-up just a different design. Like... They said go back in time. No. (laughs) They didn't take the design from nowhere. They took it from Club Penguin. Sure. They looked at Club Penguin Island and said, dead game, it's fine. Anyway. <laughs> Outnumbered. Ranting aside, I think we should all start off 
with the most important part of this franchise, the part that has Spanish me- Meta Knight. Bruh. You need He's... a monster to club that dare Kirby. Yeah, let's start with the Kirby anime because so Terrence really wants to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Who here says who seen, here has seen the Kirby anime? Just for reference, I've seen so many Waddle Dee. I've seen clips every episode. I've seen time. every episode. Okay, I've I've seen. I don't think I've seen every episode, but I've seen a lot. So, well, except for like one, one, really. Terrence, I'll go for it, my friend. What do you want to say? Um. So, anyways, uh, personally for me, it is one of my favorite animes of all time. It's one of my first animes that I ever watched. Uh, I watched it way back when I was little. Um, and like the best episode, in my opinion, is the evil frog episode where Kirby just tries killing everybody. Oh, that's a good one. I think my favorite one is when they make Waddle Dee's a vending machine. That mm-hmm. one was a good episode. You too. Saw that too. That <laughs> it's I such just a weird episode. Recently. I love it so much. Waddle, Waddle D slavery. <laughs> I don't know what about that episode I just resonate with, but it's just so funny to me. And then Absolutely. Kirby becomes a Waddle D. Yeah. It's like I have no words when I watch that episode. I just enjoy it. I'm gonna look for the photo again. You shouldn't get a Kirby reboot. I mean, there is that one episode that's all CG on the, the Dream Pretty Collection. Awesome. True. So with the giant shrimp that also gave us Kabuki Kirby. Non canon. Dude, and why it's, it's, in, it's in Mass Attack. Also non canon. I'm now making Mass Attack non canon. Die. I want to talk about a certain red butterfly eventually. You want to discuss Kirby lore? Are you insane? <laughs> bro, I, I want to discuss Kirby lore. I know it's on the list of topics, but you're crazy, bro. Just you wait. Well, I get to that red butterfly. It's over. Listen, I can speak about Kirby lore. I don't know if these two can. Not really. All I know is Waddle D. I, I, I can explain the entirety of the Kirby lore. <laughs> <laughs> We're not having a repeat of the Kingdom Hearts podcast. I can, I can explain it all. We're not having that trade wreck again. I just, I, to be honest, I just want to talk about the red butterfly. <laughs> you got to chill, bro. Just, you got to chill. I just, want to, I just want to talk about the red you butterfly. Got, you got to calm down, dude. I know. I know. He's, he's, butterflies are scary. You got to chill. Let me let, let me talk about Morphonite, please. No, be fans when they see a butterfly. Please, please. <laughs> I think we should all let, let's move aside from that. Um, I think we'll, we'll just start off with a simple question: best Kirby game. Like, what's your favorite? Personal favorite for whatever right, reason. I think Kirby Air Ride at least was one of my most uh, enjoyed games. Valid, valid, understandable. Return to Dreamland. Yeah, I was gonna say that one. Honestly, if Kirby Air Ride, uh, Kirby Air Ride is very different, but for like the standard Kirby games, Return to Dreamland is one of my favorite ones. Mostly because you can play as well D two. <laughs> so, Caesar, I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, mm-hmm. you can also play as Bandana Waddle D. And Forgotten Land as player two. Oh, that's what it was. I seen him following the Kirby around. I was I was wondering what that was about. <laughs> I I forced my brother to be player one then. Um. So, as one of the few as one of the few Kirby games I haven't played is Return to, to, to Dreamland. That's like the All best right. one. Dude. To be fair, I've played all the classic ones. I've gone through and I've played all the classic ones. Because I have the collection on the Wii and then SNES and NES Online played for all those games that are on there. So I... A lot of oh. them are overlapping. But I've played through most of the classic ones made by Sakurai. I don't, I just remember. I don't think I've played through one or two. i played through every other one, but just not one and two. Did you guys play Kirby uh, All-Star on DS or SNES? Yes. 
I just remember that one. Oh, Superstar? Yeah. Yeah. Superstar Ultra was my first I game. I was going to say Kirby Superstar is probably my favorite game. I remember trying to 100% everything. It was fun. Most I think I ever tried as a kid. It's a very, very based opinion, but I think Superstar is my favorite Kirby game because I just have fun playing oh, that. I, I played the one. Yes, one first. Triple X is a close second for me. Triple Deluxe is pretty good. I like Planet Robobot out of the two 3DS games. Everyone does, but I don't know. My heart belongs to Triple Deluxe. <laughs> I love Garland. Triple Deluxe is pretty good. Machine. And then there's Star Allies. That was a game. Star Ooh, Allies is like lore. so forgotten. It's, As, it's the Switch. It's the Kirby <laughs> Switch game that's like, yeah, it existed. It's like everyone was like, okay, Kirby's big return to console. Went by, cool references, went by, Forgotten Land, Mind oh my god, you know? Mind you, it explains how Kirby came into existence. Enough with the DM and, lore! <laughs> uh, I, I told you, I'm bringing it back up. God damn it. <laughs> I'm just saying, Kirby's, Kirby Star Allies has the reason why Kirby exists. People still forgot it. Anyway, listen, you tell me what the four new power-ups were in Star Allies. Like, you tell me what they were. Uh, uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you. Uh, uh, uh. I know Painter was one of them. Shoot, and uh, those Spider, are the only two I can remember. Yeah, oh, Spider. oh yeah, Spider. There's that. I was Festival. gonna say that, but I thought it. I thought it appeared in. Oh, and Festival. Another game. Nope, that's those Festival. were the those were the new ones. Hey, two out of three ain't bad, right? Surprisingly, okay, none yeah. of them returned <laughs> in Forgotten Land. I mean, to be fair, not. I don't think, like. It's only, like, what, 12? Okay, but at the same time, you but know how. Yeah, there's, like, staff would have been so cool in 3D, though. Staff would be so much fun. It would have. Staff would have made a, an amazing jump to a fully 3D game. That's the only thing. Like. Got I understand oh, the other three, but Kirby. staff should, I feel like, should have been one of those abilities. I'm just saying. Not gun, though. Florida Kirby. <laughs> okay, Kirby. hot take. I don't really like playing as gun Kirby. Hot take. No, I can agree with that. I don't really like playing as it. I just, I, I don't know. I just prefer all the other abilities. They feel like... I, I find it funny that he has a gun, but other than that, I don't care for it. Like I know a lot of people are like it's really that. good or whatnot, but I I just I don't know, especially like when it comes to like the final upgrade. Yeah, it's strong, but it's pretty slow. And I don't, like, I'll be honest, I don't care for either of the new abilities. I like drill. I like drill. I think it's fun. I don't I don't really care for either. I'm base and say swords my favorite. Yeah. Tornado's my favorite in Forgotten Land. That is pretty fun to play though. That's my second favorite. I think my second Especially hammer. The final upgrade. It's like uh, fourth like... upgrade hammer. Have you guys seen that new uh, exploit they found with the bouncy hammer? I have not. Yeah, you can do it with all hammers. Does it work? I thought it was only bouncy hammer. I I seen somebody do it with um the mass DDD hammer. Ah. Didn't know that. Uh, so one thing I want to. So since we're talking about it, what is your favorite copy ability from like any Kirby game? I have a list. One. Oh god. Let me hear it. I know when I'm the more the DS versions, I really like the yo yo, how he's just all swag and shit. Mm -hmm. I like spear because it was just waddle these spears. And out of the elements I thought of, I really like tornado. I'm a, I forgot which there's a few where he it's like a speedrun strat. He uses ability. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so I think it was the Game Boy version. Um, I will say I think my personal favorite is Wheel. Go oh, fast. Cause I like for one. Uh, Kirby did it better than Sonic. Um. <laughs> Damn. That's a hot take. <laughs> that, that's a real hot take. I don't that's mean a hot that. Take and a half. I don't mean that by any means. I thought it would just be funny to throw out there because I know there's people who definitely believe the wheel is better than any like 
spin dash from Sonic, but um, no, I like wheel. It's just, it's such a one note ability. You just roll and just go fast and it's just fun to, to just screw around with Two, It's not really part of the ability, but it kind of is, uh, and like superstar Kirby can ride it. And that, that's what I was going to say. I love precious. the one where you just ride. He's just things. precious when he's, a, when he's like this little rider r- riding wheel precious. Um, that that's really it. I part of me is really sad it didn't return in Forgotten Land. Oh, Will then really? Scary. It would be kind of it'd be kind of weird to use it. Um, but we do have Carmel though. True. Um, and I think yeah. So Will Yo Yo is easily up there because I completely agree. Like the swag Kirby. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think. Huh. I don't know. I, after that, it's like I I got nothing. I really liked Missile from uh, Amazing Mirror. Balloon. No, uh, but I really liked Missile from Amazing Mirror. It was like I it felt like the wheel, like the air equivalent to wheel, like just like you know, one yeah, note go somewhere. But I'm looking at this list of abilities. We, we love ourselves a little hypernova. Oh, backdrop. Ah, uh, yes. Fucking, backdrop. I don't know, Chunk. the grapple one. Or no, it was Scare. Beetle, the one I'm thinking about. Was oh, I love Beetle. Beetle. I like right Bell. There. I think Bell's my favorite. Either that or Archer. Okay. I gotta say Beetle. It's just so much fun to use. Leaf also existed. I forgot Leaf yeah. was, was, was an ability. Was the copy ability any of the other games other than Superstar? No. Yeah. I hey, your... It's just, it's just a copy ability. They it's it's the little scanner then... where. Oh yeah. yeah. The Scan. whole point of that ability is if you if you give it to a friend, they basically play as Kirby now because they can take abilities. That was the point. Uh, so it was it was pointless in any other game. Fighter was always a solid thing for me. I like fighter. I'd say hammer is my favorite. Oh, high jump. I remember that in the... Whatever. What? I used to really hate high jump, but now I hate all that. Water. Remember weird. when they brought back water just to not have it in Forgotten Land? I remember when there was a time where people went crazy over the concept of water, Kirby. I would go I would go nuts over uh, when I see a water ability. Hot take, poison's better. Hot take. I like mm, poison. They play basically no. the same. <laughs> Water just feels more fun to just use. Dr. Kirby mm. was also a thing. Oh, Dr. Yeah. We could all yeah. agree Circus is just bad. Circus sucks. What hot, about the not Smash a hot take, Circus ability? Sucks. Smash Bros. ability? Yeah, it was literally just a Smash move yeah, set. Yeah, if you, you scan in like a, a, a Kirby Smash amiibo, you could get the Smash move set. I know there's a specific certain part in the that was the first robot one. Yeah, well, that was fun. UFO. Oh, UFO, UFO. Is sick. Uh, I know yeah. it's only appeared in a singular spinoff, but wrestler Kirby, I could care less about it. But it's just a wholesome costume. Kirby Fighter or, is is it oh, Kirby Fighters too? Two? Yeah. Yes. It's just precious. I just like seeing my 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 little wrestler man. He, he's in a little a little thing, a little funny thing. I just remembered the ability I talked about first. It was actually suplex, is what I was meaning. Because you get it off a of beetle. I thought it was beetle. Yeah, no, yeah, suplex. yeah. Um. So, Chase, what's All your right. favorite ability? Beetle. Beetle. Okay. <laughs> Fun. Bug. So now we said the uh, best. No, is, but like, is there any? Make, do any of you guys have like a definitive like worst ability? I I gotta kind of have to say this. Sure. Yeah, you may be a beetle, but you ever want to be a rock? <laughs> a rock. Stone ability. Yeah. I think Don't it that one a lot. I will I mean, say, stone. I'm only gonna say I enjoy it for two games: Star Allies and Sixty Four. Um, I think at late the more recent ones were better because they had bigger movesets, but like I remember when I first played, you just turn to a rock and that nothing yeah. else. That's kinda you know, really have fun. 
probably my least favorite ability before Forgotten Land was Spike to play with. Because it was always kind of lame. And Needle. Not Yeah, Needle. That's what I meant to say. Um, and then, it, then Forgotten Land came out, and it is now one of my all-time favorite abilities because I love using it in Forgotten Land. Needle's an amazing just, ability in that I, game. I still think it is, it's one of the worst. It's I don't like literally, it. It is literally just Katamari Damacy. Yeah, like, and I like, just, I like it. Right, how do I don't you know. I, I don't about, like it. What about the one-time use abilities? Oh. Like Nova. Like Crash. Special, Sleep. Crash. Mike. I like I like the time stop one. A time time stop sleep. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, time, no time like stop time crash. Stop. Yeah. Time, oh, not sleep. Jesus. <laughs> you know, I know, I know. What you're yeah, talking Caesar about. in like, Forgotten like, Land, you can upgrade the crash ability to now stop time. Oh, it's just a JoJo reference now. Oh my god. I love you so, so much. Of... I love you so much, Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> Caesar <laughs> this is the first thing I think of stop time. Oh. Uh, this is why this is why we're friends. Jojo <laughs> fans, am I right? I don't know if you guys know about it, but you know the copy ability in the All All Stars or Superstar? Mm-hmm. And, there are many know, copy abilities. Yeah, but the one thing I remembered is when you copied one of the lizard's attacks, you normally you wouldn't be able to just swallow them and copy it, but you have to use the copy ability, and after that you get a paint ability. I thought it was some fucking cheat code when I discovered that. I know, yeah, in the older Kirby games, there was really one note, like, hard to get abilities. Uh, like, I'll, there, there's, okay, most obscure one. Who of you guys here knows light from NES? Yeah. The, the NES Kirby, Kirby game. Uh, that was yeah. a weird one. It did no damage. It was to turn on lights in two levels in the entire game. Um, Which game was that from again? Uh, Adventure. And Nightmare and Dreamline. Yeah. Is it Nightmare? I, I thought they removed it. It's a remake, so no. They did not, for whatever reason. Um, And then Ball like sucks. Ball is not fun. I, I like Ball. Balloon. Well, the thing the thing with Ball is it's like... You just hurt yourself because of the way Kirby games work. Like, it's just not... You're right, but... I feel like Ball would be an amazing ability if they brought it back and gave it, like, more moves and, like, it worked properly. But as it stands... True. I'm gonna keep going off topics of uh, abilities. So, I know Alex didn't play it, but what about your favorite, like, super ability from uh, Dreamland Return? Return Hammer. I'm kind of a basic, but I'm gonna say Ultra Sword. I think it was a fire... Actually, what was beam? It was, either, it was either fire or hammer. Beam was the one that you had a giant ball and you had to you like control the. Oh movement. yeah, you controlled it. Yeah. I didn't play it, but I've seen a let's play of it. My favorite yeah. ability is fire uh, for the supers. Yeah, yeah, fire, fire. Is fire Somebody, fire sorry, dragon. Kirby just straight up just like dragon go. I like. <laughs> you can't get more hype than that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Right, was there about... a was there a cutter? No. Uh, there was an unused one for it, I think. Yeah, what? I know there was one unused ability. And I was gonna say I think the the unused super was cutter, but I wasn't sure. I think so. Super. I don't even know how that would work. Oh shoot! Unused content. That's cool. <laughs> You know, uh, I will say about... with the with how much the supers were like, because I remember like all the advertising with how much like supers were like shown off. I was surprised that they were like a one use. I understand now, like looking back, it's like yeah, that was the gimmick of the game because like the follow games had their gimmicks and whatnot. But like at the time, since you know that was like the start of like the gimmick era of Kirby, I didn't think I thought that was like just a mainstay. I was like, okay, all games are going to have these like souped up abilities in some shape or form. Instead, we got Hypernova and then Robobot Armor and okay. Friendship. I found more unused superstar abilities. There was a super spark ability. 
Super oh. Sword. Yeah. And some sort of time ability. You already okay. know where that goes. God. I forgot about Spark. What about Plasma? <laughs> The same, same thing. thing. It's the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> it, it's a um, slightly, it's slightly less blue. It's like more green. Same thing. Same thing. Different concept. I just like green. When are they gonna like merge them? Finally, they were. Like they did, they like unmerged like they them. Did burning, <laughs> like they did burning and fire. No, Chase, they merged them for them. years. They unmerged oh, yeah. them. Star Allies. Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean, like, when are they gonna like merge them back? Like, finally. It was so dumb that they they separated it. Pee pee poo poo. I found this unused uh uh gif of Kirby. Oh, it doesn't play. Never mind. He's kind of just spins. Damn. Mm. You spin me around, baby. Spin me right around. I'm just gonna kiss you. Yeah, I knew uh, that looked familiar. What about the? Robot abilities in the 3ds. Yo, know, I, I liked I liked uh, Cutter. There's so much to pick from. Gi giant gears. I'm going back into it. It's and it's at hard it. to say because, like, some of them, like you use yeah, I, like I get I've used sword and fire a lot more than I used like the other ones, because of memory. Like it's just like I remember using sword, I remember using fire, I remember using bomb. I don't remember using Cutter. Like, I really liked Mike because it wasn't one note. Yeah, that was cool. So I, I that one like really stuck with me. So I would say I I would say just for novelty that was my favorite. But like in terms of like playing with, probably like like fire. fire. I just liked little flamethrowers. Yo, wheel though. Oh, actually no, scratch that. No, my favorite to play with was ESP. Oh yeah, little like mime hands. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, favorite to play with was ESP. Which one was the one with the boom boxes? Mike. That was Mike. That was Mike. Yeah, I like that one. I and then Wheel and Jet yeah. just transformed it. <laughs> I, I like that they brought back fist. the blimp from like Kirby Two. You should have just punched people with stone, yeah. Uh, oh, what was the what was it? Oh, what was the name? Uh, gears. It starts with like a K. Uh, okay. uh, Kabo no. Kabula. It's Kabula. Yeah, Kab Kabula. Yeah. Oh my god. They brought, they brought him back from like the first yeah. or second game. Yeah, he was he was the and final boss in the first him, game. They brought him they brought him back from a remit with a remix. Yeah, uh, Kabula was the final boss of the first game. Is oh, he? Yeah, like the mm -hmm. throws King Dedede. He's well, before Deity. I thought it was Kabula, and then you, you fought King Deity. It is. It's Either like, It's like boss after bosses. boss. It's the same thing. So it's like from Gorton Land, where you f fight three bosses in a row. Bruh. Well, the difference is each one is more demonic. One's a mm. penguin, one's a blimp. The other, This one is like, okay, here's a, here's a tiger. Or, or here's the lion. Here is no, um, we go, we go from just a parasite four, fungus thing, and then bosses. here's just God. It's actually, like it's four, it's four bosses. Actually, it's or it's, it's the club penguin reject. Then it's lion. Then it's possessed it's club lion. penguin with a mask. Then it's lion. Uh, it's club penguin with a, with a mask. Then club penguin mask with pig attributes. Then lion. Then possessed lion. Then f demon hell goo. Uh, and then, um, just God. You take a little bit of God. And then if you play the... the If you fight in the Colosseum, you get to fight God's soul. <laughs> I mean, you also get to fight the butterfly, so it's terrifying. <laughs> I'm gonna do my hardest to make sure we don't talk about Kirby lore. So anyways, it's on to the butterfly. No. Uh, it's been with All us right. since the very All beginning. Right. What about favorite enemies of Kirby? Oh my God. King Dedede. There's so many. He wants the cloud. He I, wants think he, I don't think he, Caesar meant boss. bosses. I think no, he meant like the little end. enemies you find along the way. No, no, no. no. I, mean, I was going to say both. The, both the main villains and the minions. 
Oh, and the oh. Awoofies from Forgotten Land. So I love Waddle Dees. Yeah, I I don't think there's much you can really argue against them. Um, and in terms of bosses, hmm, Claroline. No, I think my think? favorite mini boss oh. is That's um. Bonker. Our, our little Mike. ice friends. Mr. Frosty? Yeah, Mr. Frosty. Mr. Chili? That's Chili is... and Mr. Frosty. Okay. Um, And then my favorite actual boss, definitely not King Dedede. I love King Dedede. I love his songs, but like, they're pretty basic. Uh, Meta Knight. Meta Knight's cool, but it's lame that you're forced to use sword in most of them. Um, You can knock it away. That's like the later games, though. Um, hmm. Kind of based, What's but that? the final boss of Robobot was pretty sick. Star Dream was nice. Just Nova. Yeah, yeah. Fighting Star Dream as the Halberd was pretty cool. And then we get to see an actual Nova, and then we blow it up. Uh, Mar I, I really liked fighting Marks from Superstar. Marks was fun. Mark Soul. Um, I really liked fighting the Sun and Moon from the older games. I think uh, it's. I'm thinking. I think the one boss fight I'm thinking of is, uh, Kirby's Adventure. Yeah, Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. Yeah, I really liked fighting them. They were they I were loved... they were a simple but fun boss. I love the mini games from Kirby Mass Attack. One of them was just an RPG. Oh my! Yeah, no, I, mean, I love that. They also brought back anime references. They have two references, and they brought back Escargoon. I need to play that game again. I beat it on my cousin's DS and not my own, so I never owned it. Damn. A Mass Attack. It's so I've never beaten it because I've been stuck in the third world. No. You beat it so good. Uh, it's the world where you had to fight King Dedede in a balloon. Oh. The annoying one. Oh, the one with all the mini games. Yeah, that one. I literally have never gotten past that because you, you need to find like a certain amount of stars, I think, and I've just I've never found them. What's your favorite like side mode in a Kirby game? Not the mini games, but like the extra modes. Oh, I, I know that the. Uh, the, the rhythm one from Triple Deluxe. I was gonna say that one too. DDD's. Either that or Meta, either that or Meta Nightmare. There DDD's one... Drum Dash is that what it's called? Yeah, that DDD's Drum Dash, the one they turned into a full game on the 3DS. There's one in All Star where you like time certain attacks to break a board, and yeah, Kirby just breaks a pop star. Yeah, you break the whole fucking planet. Oh Let's my see. god, uh, yeah. it's... Uh, Eight inch Kirby It's It's, it's like something, it's power up punch? I forget what Ooh, it's called. Oh. I'm, I'm looking it up right now. This is gonna oh my me. god, I, well, I literally was like playing this earlier. God. Oh Hold my on. god, what? Uh, Megaton punch. Megaton, Megaton punch. punch, that's what it was. It was something punch. Uh, that one was really oh, good. Oh, Samurai Kirby. <laughs> I get so mad at Meta Knight. I can never beat him. Caesar, I don't know if you... Have you ever played Star Allies, Caesar? Star Allies? Yeah. I don't know. Switch one. Um, no. Before Forgotten Land. Yeah, the one that isn't the 3D Kirby. I'm just addicted to the Superstar and... We and GameCube ones. Because I, I was going to say, because that one has a mini game where you, a meteor is coming at you. So Kirby f flipped hat baseball <laughs> bat, hits it away. It's basically um, Megaton Punch, but diff but like the idea is different. Yeah, he has a yeah. baseball bat this time. Yeah, he has a flipped bat cap and a baseball bat, my friend. You can also become Lumberjack Kirby and you just No, that's a Mario Party a mini game. That's a different different conversation. <laughs> No, but seriously, it's just basically Megaton Punch, and you just, he just, like, instead of punching through Popstar, my man sends a f meteor flying, and it just crushes planets. 
Loki. He also kills an alien. Generations on, on lost. Because Kirby wanted to play baseball. I mean, is, isn't it isn't it just a bunch of asteroids? No, they're like planets. Are they? I haven't played Star Allies in like the longest time after I 100%. Well, no one has. <laughs> you're not, you're not True. wrong. You're not even no, wrong. I don't think anybody's touched that game since 2018 when it got its last uh, update. Listen, I, <laughs> unless you're a hardcore Kirby fan, you haven't touched that game since you beat it. And even if you beat it, you probably 100% it because it was a pretty simple game to 100%. There's True, no there's, way it was 2018. There's the final, final True Arena. That, you know, the, oh ex the extra, extra hard difficulty that you could do a cheat code for. You could? Yeah, yeah like, and if you the, beat it, you got truth. a you got Kirby, but he looked like yeah, his classic self. Classi yeah, you got classic Kirby with the little whiskers. <laughs> it's like Sonic Generations all over again. But th there were two extra difficulties. There was like the true. Well, yeah, arena, there was, was the like, original. The there was the original thing. extra difficulty, the, and then there yeah, was an extra the extra one yeah. after all the DLC. Yeah, and that's the one that explains more Kirby lore. Anyways, on to Kirby lore. Please. Anyway, what's your favorite spinoff Kirby game? Because half this franchise is spinoffs. And uh, what classifies as a spinoff in main series has become very... That line is very, very wonky, so... Some people argue yeah. Epic Yarn is a spinoff. Some people say it's main series. Yeah, I, I guess know, that I was a simple Yarn. answer for me. Kirby Air yeah, right? Absolutely love. I should probably play Epic it. Yarn. Is Epic Yarn a spinoff or main series? I don't know. It's I don't know, but it's it's main series. Shiz? I'm like ninety nine percent sure it's main series. I've seen a bunch of Kirby lore videos, and they do not count it in the timeline. <sighs> Just saying. Anyway, <laughs> not from how. Um, I canvas curse based. Wow, I'm kidding. <laughs> I I liked whatever this clay one was. That's just yeah, it was rainbow curse. Um, yeah, no, I, I I liked that one just because of its art style. Hated the gameplay, liked the art style. I haven't personally played it, but I desperately want to because it looks like so much fun. It's gonna be air ride for me. I desperately want to play that game. Air Ride seems really nice. I gotta play Air Ride. What about Kirby game that he was on the checkered board? The uh, golf one? The golf one. Dream Kirby Course. Golf. Yeah, Dream Course. Yeah. That's, that's easily my number two. Easily my number two. That game is so much fun. That Kirby was Dream last time. I love Kirby's terrifying. Dream Course. That's such a fun game. Can we talk about how Kirby was portrayed in early, like, American commercials? Bro, right. they like... Why was he, like, oh. the most angsty thing ever? Oh, oh. <laughs> he, he, why, like, why was he so angry all the time? That's what you meant. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. He was white. But that was because they didn't pick his color yet. I, I, I no, thought I'm not talking you were about, going to. I guess they I'm argued about, about what color. I'm not talking about why he was white, but why was he like, why yeah. was he so angry? Well, it's the whole idea that uh, Americans like more. They don't like this cutesy character. They want it to be tough. That's why all the box arts have like Kirby angry because he because no, even if the, the game's Kirby not that, for the sake mm -hmm. of marketing, he's uh, he's more tough and rough than uh, what he looks. <laughs> The Kirby 2 commercial had Rick Kind Koo and Kirby beating up a bunch of people in a bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's one. it's a whole marketing thing because Nintendo does what Nintendo does best, and that's somewhat I mean, understand a consumer. He made, made Kirby in every single box art for America. He's been angry, so. Kirby I think Forgotten Land is the only one fight? where he's not angry. Huh? Kirby he's just shocked. No, I'm pretty uh, sure this is the only one where he's not angry. Because every other, like, in Japan, they all have him happy. We have him angry. So, um, you mentioned the animal friends real quick, so I just want to say favorite animal friend. This, this one is going to get deep. Rick. 
I, I gotta shit. say, I gotta say, my precious little hamster. I like Rick. He, oh, he sleeps. Sweet. Have you seen him sleep in Star Allies? I know it's precious. You gotta love Rick. I think my fa- my second favorite is um, is it Koo? Yeah, Koo. Is that the fish? No, that's the that's kind. owl. Kind. My my second Who's favorite. I think probably my second favorite is Kind, just because his design. He looks like he looks like a fish who just got went through a divorce. Like, I love him. I don't really I, like I playing like as him, but like I love him. <laughs> Rick, I love and love playing as him. So Rick can spit fireballs for no reason. And then it's there's just, uh there's um, the other ones from Dreamland Three. Uh, what was it? The bucket, the cat. Does oh, Gooey count? Oh Gooey? no, he's no. player two. Gooey doesn't. What is Gooey then? He, does he not count as? Man. Does he count no. as what? Just an ally? Yeah, he's an ally. That's a yeah. He's yeah. he's just a dark matter, and he's no, just kinda we're not talking good. about lore. Uh, that's not <laughs> lore. To... It's just that's just no. what he is. Yeah, he's literally he's no. He is well, a now dark you're gonna yeah, but I, I, Terrence, I felt you. You were gonna use that as a segue. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> you're, you, you're not wrong. You're I not felt wrong. you. I was gonna the freaking segue. marketing man in me. I was like, that's that's the prime segue, my friend. You're gonna use it. I'm gonna slip it in here somehow. Anyway, um, do you guys want to talk about the our? Our favorite trio of main characters, Bandana D, Meta Knight, and King DDD. Yes. Yeah, baby. I think we should all start with probably the best one, Bandana D. Hot take. Hot take alert. That is not a hot take. That, that is, that is smash. not a hot take. It was a smash. not a hot take. There's no he's argument. adorable. He's precious. He's got the little bandana. He's tough. He should have been, in, he he should have been in, in Smash. smash. Why is he I don't know why he's not in Smash. They could have just made him a, like a Kirby clone, but no. So this is a really weird comparison. But you know, in the older Paper Mario games, they always took like staple things, like the Toads and the Goombas, and they individualized them. Yeah. Yeah. A part of me is liking the direction we're seeing with uh, Waddle Dees, with like Forgotten Land. Where they're, like, and, uh, just, where they're just becoming like the Toads of like Paper Mario. A part of me really hopes that um, just future games, it's just there's a lineup now, just like fifty yeah. different freaking. Waddle Dees, and they're all unique and individualized. I would love that. Waiters, movie theater guys. I would love to see that. They all had different names. Like the Waddle Dee Dee Theater. Yeah, I really want to see uh, the Waddle Dee lore expand. Uh, You'll talk about Waddle Dee lore, but not Kirby lore. I see. Yeah, because guess what? Waddle Dee lore is wholesome. Kirby lore has to deal with Satan. No. So anyways, on to Kirby Lore. No, uh, we're not done. We're not done. I don't care. Even after the podcast ends, I am getting to talk about Kirby Lore. No, Lord. no, we can talk about it afterwards. I just don't want to talk about it now because I'm scared. Because listen, there are, there are two types of Kirby fans. Specifically the lore-based ones. Those who accept theories, those who don't. Okay? The whole podcast on its own right there. I just don't, listen, I really don't want to screw with the Kirby guys. I lis- I they love the fandom, but they're you. scary. They will come after you. You gotta stop them. They will get my IP address, and I'm scared of that, so I don't want to deal with it. Docs below. <laughs> Put your IPs in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs> Just dox yourself, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for doxing yourself. I'll be at your house in five minutes. Thank you for the six digits on the back of your credit card. You will now be in debt. I am wanted in five countries. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, Bandana D first appeared on the Wii, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, no. I think so. No. It was Superstar oh. Ultra. Well, yes, because he, uh, he, was, he was in the background. The chilling. Spears were, was first in the Wii, right? Yeah. yeah okay. yes. Bandana was Superstar. Yeah. I will say a part of me wishes Bandana D was around like back in like the older days of Kirby. So like he would have appeared in like the anime or like 
more merchandise of him. Yeah. I mean, pe- people say he's apparently the the same Waddle D from Kirby sixty four. So, well, that yeah, I mean, you give one Waddle D character, it's like it makes complete. Also, aren't there isn't like their personalities like or so, something with their characters? If you like look into it, isn't isn't it similar? I think was it like confirmed in like a trailer? Like Maybe. I swear that's Maybe. the same Maybe. one. Yeah. Like. Oh, no. Regardless if it's true or not, like there's too much I'm there for them to that. not be the same character. The, it was just it's just a promoted Waddle D from uh Team Deity. Yeah, I'm just gonna the, say it's the same the one. I, we finally got a, a bandana D plush though. It's like the toad oh, yeah. it's like the toad's worth of of Waddle D's. Oh, like the minister. Yeah, no, that's just Toad's worth. Yeah, she's that's bandana D. Yeah. You guys have seen the, the new. <laughs> when do we uh, get the toad of, of Waddle Dee's? <laughs> I have, and I want it. Uh, yeah, you guys seen seen the new the new yeah uh, Waddle Dee plush the waddle, that everybody's been freaking out about. Yeah, the the new plush. The new just it's just bandana Waddle Dee plush, but everybody's losing over it. I mean, I was too when I saw the reveal. They also had yeah. Eflin. I need my Waddle Dee collection. They have a Woofy. Yeah, it was in a Woofy, Eflin, and Bandana Dee. Um, now, when do we get Gun Kirby as a plush? I I will say um, I'm I'm surprised Bandana D isn't merchandised as more. In the realm of Kirby merchandising, I feel like he's the one underutilized character. He's literally he's the Luigi of the series. He's the player. Yeah. Nah, I agree with that. No, I. Agree. I I wouldn't necessarily yeah, call him the Luigi. Yeah. Like, I, if we're using video game comparisons, I feel like he's not... He is not... It's not the Mar luigi dynamic. I feel like it's... It's different in a better way. Isn't Kirby, like, multiple colors, so it's basically his own Luigi? I don't even know if those are canon. Like, the multicolored... Besides, like, the, the three in Amazing Mirror... Uh, they. Yeah. I don't. And in the main. What's an amazing mirror, Cannon? Well, huh? I mean. Return he, to Dreamland. He was also there. He's the second player, third, fourth. If you did want to play as the. Well, DD. I believe I know for yeah. a fact the yellow one. I believe that one is canon for the sole purpose yeah. of, of the the connections with um. Uh, Miyamoto. Oh. Kitty. Uh, I'm not too sure though. Um, but from Bandana D, I think it's it makes the most sense that we talk about a uh, Meta Knight next. Um, <laughs> he's, a, he's a Kirby. I really he's love the idea boy. of Meta Knight just being he was he was a Kirby could do all the power stuff. He just decided to harness the power of the sword, and that that's how you get Meta Knight. Like I, I really refuse to believe. I refuse to believe he isn't Mexican now. I, Bruh. I will you say know, I brother. I really like the concept behind Meta Knight because it's just cool to think about. Just like Kirby can harness one thing and like become that and it's i don't know a part of me kind of wishes we get a game later on where it's like the kirby we've been playing all these years harnessed an ability and like here's a different one or something or like here's a no- or Ask- like you keep playing as the same pink kirby and then there's a new one that shows up the harness like hammer or something i don't know i think it would just be a cool Kirby's. concept but meta knight as a character you know you're doing something right when your beta design gets reused. Morphonite. So we're talking about the butterfly, I see. No, no. I no, just, I'm talking about the no, butterfly. I'm talking about Meta Knight's beta design, which was used. Like the, the butter- not talking yes, about the butterfly. The butter- yep, the butterfly. Nope. So the butterfly became... So anyway... Uh, it, it absorbed the galactonite. <laughs> I hate it, you, you so know. much. Please. <laughs> um... I just I like Meta Knight. He's cool. Meta, uh, going through games as Meta Knight always fun. He's he's cool. Brawl gives me war flashbacks. Just gotta love you gotta love Meta Knight. 
He's also the only Kirby character I own a plushie of. Because I have oh. I have the Meta Knight plush from the Kirby anime. <laughs> oh. I, I also have that one. Don't know how I ended up with that one, but I have it. <laughs> and the best... I was going to say the best for last, but the best was Bandana D. Uh, King DDD. Oh. The most memed yeah. Kirby character. You need a monster to club that dear Kirby. I, I feel like he's a penguin. I do love my penguins, but I feel like King DDD, he's reached a new level of like video game character. It's <laughs> like he's not a villain, he's not a good guy, he is a walking meme. Any game he appears in, there's a meme based off of King DDD. And his he name is just fun to say. I could say King DDD oh, like 20 times in a sentence and it loses no meaning. Get DDD. The King and DDD name Waddle D. Yeah, they got that, D in the name. Yeah, that's where that's where it comes from. They just like named them, like named an entire species after him. So How did King DDD get his name then? Or it's probably yeah, I know. Yeah, it's probably the opposite. The father actually. and mother. <laughs> you think like. I, I like to think that DDD is his last name, and he just renamed his. He just renamed himself from like his first name is now King. King D. <laughs> so like he used to have a different first name, so he was it was like Tom, like some basic ass shit. <laughs> Tom DDD. Jo George. Bruh. Peter. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Um, there's a lot more topics we could go over, but for the sake so of, we have eight minutes left. Terrence. Is he? I'm, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to lean back. Is it Kirby lore I hear? The is floor is yours. Can I, can I name, say something first before he goes off for the next eight minutes? Yeah, yeah, sure, go for it. I used to think Meta Knight was Kirby's dad. I still think that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I will never... I am your papa. I'm, I'm never letting go of that. I'm never letting go of that theory. I never, like, I never thought of it that way. Kirby I was told by my cousin. Oh. Something but how did, how did he... How, who is the mother? I think he named the... I, th I don't. I don't know why he. I think he mentioned them anime, which we used to thought think was a cartoon. All right, four kids dub. Speaking of four kids, the the One Piece dub though. No, that's like so far off topic, and I know <laughs> you. I don't want to yet. touch One Piece. <laughs> I don't want to touch talking about One Piece because God knows. One wrong move and I'm forced to watch episodes of One Piece for a video. No, I'm not. No. We're not catching up on a thousand episodes for, for a YouTube video. Uh, you you only have to watch the four kids dub. It's fine. No, I'm, we're not. They, they, Terrence, own, they only listen, butchered everything. Terrence, you either talk about One Piece or Kirby Lore. You pick your poison right now. I'll gladly talk about Kirby Lore. Okay. <laughs> okay. That could be summed up in like 10 minutes compared to One Piece. Well, you got five. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, I'll explain how Kirby was made. <laughs> so when anyways, a Meta Knight and a mother would know each other very well. Yes. Yeah, so, anyways, there's there's this just being. I forgot its name. I think it's just called Void. Void Terminator. Whatever. Not Void Terminator. He is God. Just Void. When it it is, it is emotionless. It has no feelings. It is based. <laughs> It, when it, if it feels negative emotions, it becomes stuff like dark matter, zero, stuff like that. Hold up, I want to talk about Kirby Lore. Hold up. So, void, based, right? Right, let me... <laughs> yeah, whenever, whenever, whenever it has based emotions, it's, it's negative. It goes on Twitter. Uh, it, if it sees anything, it gets upset. It turns into a zero, a dark matter, gooey. Oh my god. He but was a friend. True, but he was based off a of dark dark matter, which is based off a of zero, true. which is based off a of negativity. True, that is true. And then Kirby, Kirby got based off of positive emotions, so Kirby was made, which also made Galactonite and made Meta Knight. 
and then the butterfly comes and makes Morpho Knight. But so what's the butterfly, Terrence? Please explain. <laughs> Nobody knows who the butterfly is. Apparently, uh, okay, so, like the butterfly existed, and according to Japanese mythology or whatever, it apparently guides spirits to the afterlife. Oh my and God! So, you know, the the butterfly <laughs> came, sucked up Galactonite, and said, "You're mine now. I Mind take your you, power." This is the same game. Well, this is the same game where you are a pink circle with your friends of an orange circle, a big blue penguin, and a a purplish, blackish, bluish circle. With going wings. down, uh, swallowing you, uh, cute little friends as you fight a tree. And that's only some of the characters. Don't even get me started on the ancients. <laughs> oh my god. I can go on about Magalore. I can go on about how his species apparently created with highness. They they oh, worked yeah. on the, the mirror, the dark world mirror. And then the dark world mirror uh, created Sectonia. And then there's the, the Nova Stars, which is played a robot territory. They, 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 were the made, they were made from the ancients, and the ancients said, all right, I'm dipping. And then they just peaced out, and they left the Master Crown, the, the once again, the Myrrh. They made the Novas and said, peace, do our work for us. And then the rest of Highness is Potentially people. Magalore like, I want ship. a free god. Yeah, they also made Magalore ship. Uh... What else? Uh, Magalore is apparently the same species as the Asians, but he's from the tech side of things. And Highness is from, like, the, the magic kind of guys, and they, they were the ones who performed the rituals or whatever. And then uh, they brought back, uh, what's his face? Um, Void Termina, which is essentially God. It's the God of the Kirby universe. Kirby is also a god. They just contrast with each other. There you go. There's, there's a little bit of Kirby lore for you. Just a little bit. Did you get out of your just system now? Bit. Yeah, I got out of my system. I gotta talk about Kirby lore. Okay. We have three minutes. Two minutes now. Two minutes no. now. Talk about like forgotten to, I would, land lore. I'd like to do my outro, please. And not me. <laughs> I mean, I can talk about Terrence. We could talk about this for the next like three hours, dude. Okay, let me let me just do the outro first. <laughs> yeah, listen, dude. Just just one minute. All, all, two minutes. All I need, like a solid two minutes. All right, go ahead. Do, <laughs> do your little outro then, so I can keep talking about <laughs> Kirby Lord. <Lauren. laughs> I will keep this going. You cannot stop me. Uh, so so you're that so you're that side of the fandom, huh? Yeah. Good to know. You're the thing I fear most. Yeah, I, I'm into the lore, good sir. You've become the thing I swear to destroy. Who bad? Anyway, I'd like to think the the original set of boys coming back on for Kirby. Yeah, yeah. Somebody else is gonna join. For it wasn't the wasn't segment. wasn't necessarily planned to have. Uh, us four come back and talk again but um it, it's nice to see all of you it's nice to have uh, another here. another hour-long chat and i also just think it's cool to see how far this channel has come in like a year and a half now so he's gained like 10 subscribers 20 um let's go you should subscribe by the way if you're if you're subscribe. not right do that right now subscribe with twitch prime and you see, this is why I don't need to pay them because they do it for me. Wait, no, that you don't even get paid in the first place. The, the, this yeah. is why I don't pay them because they don't need money to do the things for me. Yeah, you don't pay us in the first place. Exactly, I don't need to. Where are my five dollars, man? No, that's for the contract. You're unpaid. <sighs> Legally, you can't sue. Where is that in the contract? Page 27. Is, is this the fine outro? Print. Just, just arguing about fine, fine print. print? Fine print. Fine print, my friend. There was no fine print. Paragraph 4, motherfucker. You'll, you'll, you'll hear from my lawyers. <laughs> you will hear from my lawyers. Paragraph 4. Paragraph 4, bitch. <laughs> ever, ever, ever play pizzeria sim? Paragraph 4, bitch. Yeah. Presidential pardon. <laughs> 
I summoned, I I summoned my Trump seats. card. Presidential pardon. So anyways, let's talk about the Forgotten Chalice. <gasps> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to talk about the chalice? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Thank you three for coming on. It was... I, I enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. I did. I've committed um, domestic violence. What? Do you have next month's topic? I was about to say it. Uh, next month's topic, uh, we're doing Steven Universe, an amazing TV show brought to you by Cartoon yeah, Network, not baby. Spawn. I gotta watch the rest of it now. <laughs> so I'm caught up. It's a good show. It's a good show. Great music. I don't want to talk about it now, but it's, I love it. Um... It's gonna be a one hour of us trying not to sing a song. It's gonna it's great. Hot take, hot take. They ruined it. Was uh, we're making a song tier list, aren't we? <laughs> uh, I think we're just gonna say favorites because if we go any deeper, it's just yeah, an hour yeah. of us talking about good music. Uh, Steven Universe garden. has no bad song. Let's play a game. This will be so. Terrence, <laughs> you all you want to do is talk about lore. Now <laughs> you're gonna get copyright striked. <laughs> I will sing the. I'll put you in the, the corner. Tidy of... <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take away your chalice. Please, what my chalice? I'm gonna end it here before shit gets weird. Um. <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching. Please remember to share, subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications. Just do whatever you can to help support me, and have a lovely day, everyone. Bye. Bye.